Hello guys and girls from around the world, it's the Command 35 back here again, hope you're all doing well, and uh, yeah, another weekend, another day, another, we're into, finally into June, so that's, that's cool, and yeah, this year's flying by so quickly, ain't it? But anyway, that's not what this is about, this is about an action figure review, and I'm continuing my Legacy Last Wave reviews, and uh, that's the Space Trooper, or as it's called on Wiki, the Zero G Assault Stormtrooper. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, uh, like I've been saying in my past couple of reviews, I'm looking for the packaging, and I can't find it. Um, so I'm not even going to show up, just I'm not going to give up the search, but I'll tell you what I found. I found all my other packagings. I saved all my Clone Wars ones. They were inside of a safe, like literally. And uh, so these are all like in mint conditions, like since I bought them. Except the front parts are like ripped off sometimes. So that's cool to have those. Yeah, sorry about the packaging, whatever. Who gives a shit about packaging anyways? Oh, well, Black Series 1 is terrible, but... <laughs> anyway, so this is the figure right here. Um, I can tell you right now, this is going to be one of the shortest reviews ever because this figure is just simply cool, and uh, there's nothing really wrong with it, and, and it's just another, another one of uh, Hasbro's great creations. The thing I'll say about this this figure is that um, there are definitely more mass quantities of him available around the world because I believe they re-released this figure into the Saga Legends line that came out before this new one with the no articulation figures, the line that was like before it, that we had um, like the different color packagings, the green or the Clone Wars blue, I think Saga Legends was like yellow or something. And uh, this is one of the figures that was available in that line. I think it was. And then, uh, but first it came out with the Legacy Collection last wave, and we have we didn't hear from it for a while until then. So and this one's like the only one that was re-released, and it's not rare anymore at all. You could probably I, I think I saw one on eBay for like five bucks overseas. So you can just army build them that way. This is definitely an army builder. I'll tell you that. Just look at this. This is uh, basically a mech suit, uh, unlike the. Dark Trooper, which I believe is kind of like a droid, I guess, not really a soldier in the suit. But this, I'm assuming you can actually probably put a soldier in this mech suit. Uh, more type of uh, Star Wars Iron Man. This is their Iron Man in that universe, I guess. But there's probably thousands of them. Um, I don't believe we ever see him in the actual movies at all, except there's like one Space Trooper in A New Hope, I think, in the, on the Death Star, uh, that we see on the outside. Um, but that doesn't count because he's not like looking like this at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, I believe he's in the EU universe all over the place. Probably a couple comics or more. I don't know. I haven't read the comics much about this. I just got it because he was a badass looking figure. To be honest with you, I just I like I loved it when Hasbro was doing all these fancy things and all these fancy looking figures. It just looked amazing. But this guy has all sorts of great armor accessories his his body seems to be in proportion very well um, see I'll just show a random action figure on uh, 3.75 scale here's a GI Joe figure he's decently bigger than him and I could definitely crush him as you notice under his um, forearms he does have like these James Bond type <laughs> uh, blasters I guess uh, coming out uh, protruding outward and uh, I thought that was pretty cool. They don't close in, but that's fine. I've always been fine with that. Um, but he's got multiple layers of his white armor, and he's got a black jumpsuit in the bottom over here in the back. I am assuming it's a jumpsuit, right? And he's got his fat stormtrooper helmet. Look at that. <laughs> very, very fat indeed. It literally looks like a stormtrooper helmet, but squashed down and just, I don't know, maybe a plastic Halloween costume one. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But uh, he looks very, very, very cool. Uh, even so, uh, it makes sense to have the helmet bigger like that too. And he's got his shoulder plates. Uh, I don't know. I think the Saga Legends one came with a blaster pistol, but this one didn't come with one. I'm pretty sure it did not come with one. But I'm, I believe the Saga Legends version of this came with like a pistol. That's why he has his hands gripped, obviously, so he could hold something with it. Uh, but his hands are larger than others figure 3.75 figures uh, but that's okay um, I'm not gonna have him posing with any uh, weapons he is the weapon himself he's one big ass weapon he's even got a booster pack on the back 
huge ass booster pack go through space missions and operations whatever the imperial his imperial superiors task him with and he's got multiple uh, sections of different of the black and white and he's even got some silver stripes going down here and uh, even down on his abdomen stomach going down really nice and I love how he has these like space oriented uh, gravel uh, zero G boots lock on uh, they just look very very space space-esque I guess you could say space horrific but uh yeah the simple figure yet very effective I think I think this is one to army build for sure especially since it's uh it's cheap to get um, but yeah he has a ball jointed neck he has ball hinge shoulders ball hinge elbows swivel wrist a ball jointed torso swivel hips ball hinge knees and ball hinge ankles so he's got a fair amount of articulation for a figure of this scale um, if I was asked to get the Dark Trooper, like the Phase 2 or Phase 3 version, like the ones with the Super Armor or this one, I'd get this one because it's cheaper and it's a uh, better, ter it's more better quality of a figure and uh, easier to army build, of course. And uh, definitely one to add to your Imperial ranks. So that's been my review, guys. I think it's a wonderful figure. I'm going to give him a 5 out of 5. It's simple, yet very effective. Great job on Hasbro's part. I hope they do more figures like this. So. Thank you all for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Continue to enjoy your weekend. This has been the Command 35 signing out. Peace.